Susanna Johnson was a young wife and mother, nine months pregnant with her fourth child when she and her family were kidnapped from their home in Fort No. 4 in New Hampshire by Abenaki Raiders in 1754. Two days into their arduous trek to Canada, Susanna gave birth to a baby girl she named Captive Elizabeth. Her Indian captor was very pleased, and upon seeing the infant gloated, two monies for me. Many British colonial captives were sold by the Indians to the French in Canada before being ransomed back to the colonies. Susanna and captive were adopted into the St. Francis Abenaki tribe at Odenac, and then reunited with her husband in a debtor's prison in Quebec. After several years' effort, the Johnsons returned with all their children to Fort Number 4. Often throughout their long ordeal, Susanna feared for the health and safety of young captive and wished she'd never been born. But captive proved to be a strong and resilient child who became her mother's favorite. When Susanna finally died at the age of 89, she was in the arms of her beloved captive. <laughs>